The Jackals started their third series of the year against the Rockland Boulders on Tuesday at Yogi Berra Stadium. It's an important series for the two teams as the third place Jackals are just three games back from the second place Boulders. Same lineup as Sunday for the Jackals, but with Jaraputo ready to play in the field, there was some position shifting. And relief pitcher John Lucas made his second start of the year in place of injured Kyle Greenwald. Neither team gave up a run until the bottom of the fifth when Rockland gave up a double to Chris Curran, allowing Gaetana Junta to score and give the Jackals a 1-0 lead. Rockland would tie the game in the top of the sixth, but the Jackals answered right back in the bottom of the inning with Sunday's hero Brian Sabatella continuing his hot streak with an RBI single to put the Jackals back on top. He would go to third on the error by the right fielder and then score on the next batter after a wild pitch gets away from the catcher to make the game 3-1 Jackals. The Jackals came into the game having gone 10-0 when leading after seven innings, and they would see to it that that streak wouldn't be broken here. In the eighth, after Nick Giaraputo drew a two-out walk, Sabatella hits a routine grounder to short, but the throw is low and gets away from the first baseman, allowing Giaraputo to score all the way from first, just beating the throw to make it 4-2. Next batter was Danny Rams, who continues to do well with runners in scoring position and two out, driving in Sabatella to put the score at 5-2. Keith Cantwell would come in to close and keep it that way, securing a big win for the Jackals, who are now just two games back from second place. The final score of tonight's game, New Jersey Jackals 5, Rockland Boulders 2. Fans the Jackals, thank you for attending tonight's game right here at Yogi Berra Stadium. Jackals fans, remember to like us on Facebook, follow us at Jackals Baseball on Twitter, and go to jackals.com for tickets, info, and more.